comes, finally comes time to delete the data, destroy the data, you have automated policies to do that after seven years or whatever your policies are, we will delete the data and actually issue a destruction certificate to verify that you indeed have deleted all of your backup data past the date that your policy says. The trade-off for putting stuff to DLM, however, is that it's now a two-step restore process. You have to, as an administrator, log into the DLM, find archived data, bring it up into a buffer on the DLM server before the end user can restore that data. So it's a two-step restore process, takes a little longer, and it's not tremendously longer, and if you'd like, and you want the end user to be able to retrieve his own archived data, then what you need to do is put in a web portal. The secret has a web portal that if you give end users permission to do this, and you don't have to, there are some people who manage backups and just say, call me when you need something, and then there are other people who are fairly technical and you allow them to retrieve their own data. But they can log into BLM, from there they can get to their data, bring it up into a buffer, then they can restore it from the DS client without ever involving an administrator back at the central location. The web portal also allows MSPs to resell their service, where they can set it up where one of their partners can come in and download DS clients, install them, create them, and the web portal will manage that process so that the customer, you know, the, the partner, really doesn't have an infrastructure. All he's doing is he's coming in to the centralized location saying, I'm going to buy stuff for a dollar, resell it for two dollars, make a profit without having to manage a DS system. And the web portal is, is vital to helping MSPs manage partners who are reselling their service. It also allows people and users to allow them to log in, see how much space they're using, see how much they're going to get invoiced at the end of the month. It, uh, it allows you to manage your DS system from any browser on the Internet. We give you a Java GUI for the DS system that you can manage it with. And you can install that GUI in your office. You can install it at home. You can install it at your grandma's house. doesn't matter. And manage the DS system. If you have a web portal, all you need is the right logon ID and password. And then you can manage your DS system through the web portal. So it's a multi-function kind of, uh, kind of portal that can help you do, do many things. Additionally, if you are actually going to be reselling a service, one of the things you'll want to do is install the billing module. It comes with the software, but it is a separate installation because some enterprises, they don't do billing. They just back up all the remote offices and they don't do any chargeback. So it's not a part of the DS system. It's a separate module that you load on, but it integrates with the DS system. So it tracks all of your backup data. It tracks the raw data for each customer, for each client. It'll pack, track how much space they're using in the vault. And it will print invoices if you would like to print them from there, or it'll export that information in Excel, Excel spreadsheet format, and you can print the invoices from an, an existing billing system such as QuickBooks. But the billing module is a part of our software. You don't have to build one. You don't have to figure out how to do it. It's already there for you. And if you'd like to even be more redundant than just having an N plus one DS system in multiple servers, if you'd like to, you can choose to replicate your DS system to another location. You can replicate some of the clients if you want to. You can replicate all of them. And what that is is, is a license from a Segra. It's not capacity-based. Whether you're replicating a terabyte or 100 terabytes, it's the same price. You just buy that feature, and then you replicate your backup data to an alternate location. The DS clients themselves can be set up where they know about the alternate system. If the primary goes down, they can then access their backup data from the secondary. When the primary comes back up, it will go back to the primary. 